Hi everyone, my name is Nick Pavlov and welcome to Sintita's YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to explore a dataset item within the Microsoft Fabric workspace and show you how to build a Power BI report using a dataset. So let me filter out a Lakehouse, SQL endpoint and dataset. And as you remember, when you create a lake house, you also get uh, the SQL endpoint and data set created by default with the same name. So today we will be looking at the data set option, right? So let me go ahead and select data set for my demo adventure works lake house. This is the, remember the test lake house that I built and we put the adventure works tables into that lake house. So if I click to data set, this is the look that I have. Uh, let's talk about the tables first, right? You can see that all of the tables that I have in my lake house can be found in here. So if I click on one of my tables, right, I can see, I can preview my data by clicking each of my tables. This is my data set, I can preview my tables. I can either see the entire table, right, by clicking select all, or I can also select individual columns. And only these individual columns will be seen in, in this view. So if you want, you can export this, and you can export this to Excel, to PDF, to a, a whole bunch of other things, in, even including uh, Microsoft Word, right? You can create a paginated report from this data, some of the cool things that you can do. So let me select my entire data, and let me actually go back. So here I have the option Analyze in Excel. And Analyze in Excel is an old feature from Power BI, and this allows you to export tables into Excel and use pivot tables to work with your data. Now visualize this data. This is where I wanted to spend some time talking about. This is really exciting. You can create interactive reports using the selected data. So if I click to Auto Create, this will take me to a Power BI desktop experience in the cloud. We talked about this before, right? So Auto Create allows you to create interactive reports automatically using the selected data. So I can, let me drag these tables to my right a little bit. So what I can do, right, I can select certain columns from my tables. For example, I can select product, I can create category, and let me create, uh, let me select my region, for example, I can do a country. And so based on the columns and tables that I selected for this report, Power BI will automatically create me a report. This looks really cool. This is nicely formatted and using visualizations best practices. And to be honest, this looks better than if I were to build a report. <laughs> If you don't like certain visuals, right, for example, you can click to personalize this visual and you can select another visualization type. Let me select pie chart. I probably shouldn't have done that because, you know, pie charts are not, they don't always fit to your reports. Uh, let me actually go back and change that to probably tree map. This looks a little bit better. Either way, right, this feature is, is super helpful if you need to take a quick look at your data and do a quick analysis before diving into something in details. You can just quickly just kind of select certain columns and then that's going to give you a quick little report that you can then look in more details. So if I save this, I can save this Nick's um, sample auto report and this will be saved in my workspace. So I can go back. Another thing that I can do, if I don't want to do auto create, I can do start from scratch. And this is going to give me an empty canvas where I can build my own reports. So I can find this, for example, and then I can do product by category. But now, after learning that Power BI can create automatic reports, I probably will not even be using this feature too much. So let me go back and I'm not going to save this. Another feature that we have here with the visualize this data, we have an option for paginated reports. And paginated reports are designed to be printed and shared. They're called paginated because they're very well formatted to fit on a page. 
and they also display all of your data in tables so for example if I click to let's say my product right so let me let me choose category and then I can go to sales and then I can choose quantity price and my measure all of this will be nicely formatted to fit a page which can be then printed out right if necessary all right let me go back uh, that was it for today we looked at creating power bi reports using a default data set from a lake house a very helpful feature in my opinion hopefully you liked the video please like and subscribe and i will talk to you later